Hi everybody and welcome to Travelling with Russell and welcome to a new video and welcome to Moscow. Now I'm in Moscow city today. I'm in Afia Mall, which is like this huge shopping mall right in Moscow city where all the skyscrapers are. Now right behind me there's Perikrostok, but I heard some people want to go see another type of supermarket. It's right in front of me and we're going to go check it out. Now for anyone that hasn't been here before uh, to Moscow or to Russia, uh, Afia Mall is this uh, four level shopping center right in the middle of all the skyscrapers in New Moscow City. Uh, this is the Perry Krostok, which I am going to do a video eventually. We just have to see if anybody wants to see more supermarkets. But this is very much a working class area. Um, this shopping mall is uh, very, very large. Uh, it's actually almost too big. You get lost walking around because there's so many entrances and exits. Uh, yeah, this is Zaloti Yabulka, which means in uh, translation, golden apple. Uh, I keep thinking it's called green apple because <laughs> everything's green in the store, but it's golden apple. So now imagine the supermarket that we just walked past, but this is a perfume shop. Have a look how big this place is. It's absolutely huge. So <laughs> it literally is a supermarket as it says there. The supermarket, yes, perfume, cosmetic, skincare, everything we possibly need. Now let's go in and check it out. Now the first thing we're greeted with is Black Friday, 70% off. But today's not Friday, so depending on when you're watching this, uh, don't come rushing here thinking every Friday is Black Friday, but it looks like they're preparing for a big sale. Now walking in, if you are uh, obviously ladies watching this, a big amount of my audience are men, so I'm sorry men. You're gonna to have to put up with seeing a lot of perfume and cosmetics and lipsticks, but the one thing that's very interesting here is all of the brands. So we see here Guerlain, we see Dior. Uh, have a look, all of the different Guerlains right here in the store. Uh, but considering all of the imposed sanctions on Russia right now, all of these brands are here. Now, are they here in full? That's another question altogether. Have a look at all the skincare here now. I don't know all of these brands, so we'll just sort of walk around and we'll check it out. And whatever brands we kind of come across, Lamia, Zelinsky, and Rosen. But what I really want to convey is how big this store is, how big their electricity bill must be because there's about, I don't know, 5,000 lights in this store. There's not even just a few of them, but literally every brand is represented in here. Every brand possible. Look, even La Ossitan. How's that? Now there is actually La Ossitan stores around Moscow, so we know that already, but Let's keep going and have a look. All of these, I wish I knew more about these brands, but supermarkets are a bit more my thing. Perfume supermarkets, maybe not so, but um, we can see all the different uh, perfume brands here. So I'm pretty sure probably 99% of the shop is set up for uh, ladies. And hopefully there's a men's section somewhere that we can check out. Now, so far walking around, I think every single lady has looked at me at least twice or once or twice, but just have a look now. I can see why my wife loves this store so much. Literally every brand is represented. Every brand, and I'm talking every brand that you've even not even heard of is here in every size of bottle as well. So that's crazy in itself. Uh, but yeah, check it out. It just keeps going. Imagine, imagine the supermarket across the road, Perry Crosstock. But this is just perfume, skincare, lotions, shampoos. My gosh, I think when the ladies come here, they need to like a lot, maybe like a one or two hour, like time frame to come uh, shopping. It's just, uh, it's a little bit hard to cut a grasp. I walked in here maybe once or twice and then walked out, but just the amount of choices. 
is just uh, unbelievable. Just looking on this back wall here, there is quite an emphasis on the uh, Russian brands as well. So not just, I guess, what you would call imported brands, but Russian brands are also uh, very, very well represented in here. But I guess once you kind of find your product or brand or type, you're going to keep coming back because they've got every size, every bottle, every fragrance. Now, I'm pretty sure if there's any Russians that are watching, especially the ladies, I'm sure guys do shop in here. I've barely seen a guy in here yet. Uh, you guys know this store very well, but if you're not from Russia, I mean, I guess I could compare it with Sephora, but this is about maybe 10 times as big as Sephora. And I'm not even joking, it's, it's actually probably overwhelming when you first come in here, the amount of choices. So the one thing they do very well in this store is they've got a kind of membership program or a, you know, like a card that you would sort of present every time you buy something. And then you've got essentially two different prices. So you've got the price without your card and the price with your card. But uh, obviously you're gonna sign up for membership, right? And take one of the cards. Look at that, they've actually, what day is today? Tuesday, and it's already Black Friday. Maybe they're doing like a whole week of events. Now it seems that the channel has gained a bit of a following for people wanting to watch supermarket videos, shopping center videos, uh, life in Russia videos. So I hope this kind of fits with the types of videos that are on the channel. Uh, let me know in the comments if you like this kind of thing or you don't, uh, I'm not too sure how it'll go, so I guess we'll see later on. Now walking around, I don't even recognize some of the brands in here. I mean, working on cruise ships for quite a lot of years, we had a lot of skincare and perfume brands, um, but this is kind of like next level. Uh, I don't even know, if, if I was to walk in here, I mean, I guess as a lady, I would not even know where to start looking. I mean, there's that many brands, that many choices, I guess there's something for everybody. If we, uh, you know, kind of nut it out and really look around at all the different types here, but I guess at some point you kind of find which brand is suited to you. I think everybody might know L'Oreal. This is fairly well known, but Karatsi, Matrix, Organical. Sorry, everybody, I don't know every brand. The one thing I must say about this store, there is a lot of stuff in here. I mean, they're really uh, almost like every aisle there's somebody uh, either kind of showing the products or demonstrating them, talking about them. I guess the big thing with selling perfume and cosmetics is you've got to know the products or you've got to learn about them somehow. Um, but there's a lot, a lot of choices. This probably won't be that long a video, really. I'm not really uh, kind of doing too many uh, cuts, but I think over here is all of the shampoos and hair, hair care items, I guess you could call it. Uh, but again, I didn't really realize there was that many brands. I guess I'm very uh, limited in my knowledge of ladies' uh, perfume shops. I guess walking around a little bit more, there's uh, more everyday items over here, so things like toothpaste, toothbrushes, uh, more skincare kind of products. But, I mean, I wouldn't even say this place is struggling for stock. I mean, every shelf, it's got stuff on it. There's, there's no empty spaces. I mean, I wouldn't say even to a point they're spreading things out. There's, you know, so many choices. Here's all the loofahs. Do you guys call these loofahs? These shower poofies, poofs. And then more, uh, oh, hair dyes over here. Also just everyday items. It's kind of off to one side of the entrance here. So they probably purpose put the everyday items all together. Then here we see some of the bigger uh, makeup and perfume brands here, Givenchy. But again, every product seems to be represented. I've got all the slide out drawers there for the skincare. 
Bobby Brown. Now, I know the Bobby Brown stores through Moscow have closed. So again, this is another thing that seems to be more prominent in here. These kind of store within a store concepts. So where they've got the whole build outs here like Lancome, uh, you know, so where the individual brand stores have closed, these shops continue trading and obviously they've got the products L'Oreal here. Here's more Lancome, the makeup. Now, a few people are gonna to say to me, oh, there's not that many people shopping in here. Where's everybody's bags and baskets? Uh, Kylie skin, is this Kylie Jenner? I don't know, maybe it is. But there's definitely people shopping in here. There is a large amount of stuff as well, but again, that's really the kind of draw with this kind of shop. Clarins, there's YSL over there, but they don't just have the kind of basic sort of choices. They've got the entire assortment. So have a look at how many registers they have. Okay, there's not everyone working, of course, but, oh, sorry, <laughs> Drasvati. <laughs> uh, but, what, there's maybe 20 different registers if everybody was open. There's about six open at the moment. So, I mean, imagine this place on like a Saturday or a Sunday, or if you came close to Christmas, it would be almost scary in here. Uh, my wife would love it. There's also these little promotions here. Look, all these uh, discount items. Here's Estee Lauder, Armani. So yeah, they're all, every house, these, they call them perfume houses. I, I'm not sure if anybody knows that, but all the houses are represented here as I uh, keep walking around. Maybe I was right. This is Kylie Jenner, Kylie skin. Sorry ladies, but I couldn't recognize her from the photo. I don't really watch the uh, gossip channels or read the gossip magazines, but only in Golden Apple. So she's exclusively here. This is a fairly big chain store of uh, shops, by the way. Pretty much every shopping mall in, in Moscow, for sure, and probably St. Petersburg has one of these stores. Uh, this is not where I live, this area here. So I came out here kind of specially to check this one out because I know it's a bigger store. But here's the health food section, what? Healthy food, healthy snacks in a perfume shop, I guess. That whole kind of well-being is kind of represented. Oh, and here's all of the, uh, what do you call these, like vitamins and things like that. I don't remember all the names of things as I'm walking, so. Yeah, Creed, Clinique, but yeah, oh, there's actually some guys. These might be the first guys we've seen in the video in the whole store. I'm fairly sure, I mean, maybe we've seen about three or four in the whole shop. So I do hope you kind of like this uh, walk around. It's probably something a little bit different if you are following the channel um, in the, from the past, I guess. Uh, it's a little bit sort of different from an empty shopping mall video or this is a supermarket, but for perfume. So that's what's, uh, <laughs> now I know my wife, why well, I lose my wife in here at times when we, we come shopping. She's like, I'm just gonna pop in there for a few minutes and then half an hour later, one hour later, she's still in here. So <laughs> I can see how easy it is to kind of get uh, lost in all of these different uh, products and brands. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. I mean, this location, uh, Moscow City, there is definitely no housing around here. Okay, people may live in the high rise in the skyscrapers, but very, very typically, most people uh, would come to this shopping mall from outside of Moscow City region. Just thought we'd go past the uh, registers here to catch some people spending some money. Yes, people do buy things. People do spend money in Russia. Uh, not everybody's just, you know, statues. They do come shopping, um, but yeah, the probably the amount of people that come in through here to the shopping center, I mean, it's a big place too. This would be uh, maybe one of the top five biggest shopping malls in Russia. If I'm uh, kind of going by the list, you can see how big this store is. I mean, we did do the walk around, but it is essentially the exact replica of the size of a traditional supermarket but it's only perfume, only cosmetics, skincare, everything like that. Okay, thanks everybody for watching Traveling with Russell. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, 
<laughs> let me know what you think, please, in the comments. Uh, is it something that you like watching? Is it getting boring? I don't know. Uh, if you want to give it a thumbs up, you can do that as well. Thumbs down if you like. I'm pretty sure thumbs up win so far in most videos. So thanks for coming traveling with Russell. Thanks for being a subscriber. I know we've gained a lot of people in the last seven days uh, very, very quickly. So hopefully it continues. Hopefully I can keep making good content that you like. And you can learn something about shops in Russia, shopping malls, and just traveling in Russia and my life living here. So yeah, thanks everybody. I'll see you in another video. Bye.